In your hands, Lord. It's in your hands, Lord. It's in your hands. I trust you. It's in your hands. Cause I trust you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's in your hands. I'm giving it to you today. It's in your hands. I trust you, Lord. It's in your hands. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord, I trust you, Lord. It's in your hands. Have your way, have your way, have your way. It's in your hands. I trust you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I trust you. Hallelujah. I trust you. I trust you. It's in your hands. It's in your hands. It's in your hands. Cause I trust you, Lord. It's in your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I trust you, Lord. It's in your hands. Robobo Korea Tarana Bankosa. Oh, she did it in a bosu rakata ba 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 sa. Those who worship must worship in spirit and truth. I had to share a little bit of worship today with you guys because this was my first ministry. I come from a singing family on my father's side and instrumental as well as my mother sings. So he's literally turning us back. I even hear turning the hands of time. But he wants us to get back to our first love, which is him serving him, communing with him, sitting in our secret place, having the encounters. And even for some of y'all, depending upon what you first started in ministry. That's always going to be a part of you. Now he's going to increase that. So he often, I always have music in my, in my mind, in my spirit. So he gives me lyrics and things like that. So I wanted to just share that today. 
It's in your hands. Hallelujah. Cause I trust you. Hallelujah. I trust you, Lord. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Cause I trust you, Lord. Amen. I trust you, Lord. Hallelujah. Cause I trust you, Lord. Hallelujah. Cause I trust you, Lord. Amen. Who could bobo bo Yes, Lord, Robo Bobo Kora Katana Nanana Banzo. Who, Shanta, whoever needs to let go and let God have his way today, let him do that. Let him do that in you. Let him do that in your situation today. We oftentimes still, as men and women of God, have a tendency to hold on to something that God said it wasn't your battle in the first place. The battle is mine, says the Lord. But he says, as you seek me, as you seek, and as you knock, you'll find. As you do that, hallelujah, as you pray, as you have encounters with me, as you worship me, as you pray, as you pray for others, that is your form of fighting the battle. Because once you do that, it ushers me in, says the Lord. See, 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 his ears start to turn to you. It opens up the heavenly gateways and portals. You already got the elders and you got the angels. It's always a worshiping of Yahweh, of Yahuwah in the heavenlies. So thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So see, as we, as kingdom citizens, because kingdom is in us because of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, as we usher in that worship, even right now, as I'm saying that, I'm seeing angels ascending and, de and descending. Opening up the paths. Opening up the doors. Causing restoration in your life. Causing forth healing and deliverance. Whatever you need today, it is made available. And seeking the most high God. It is made available. And giving him adoration. And being in awe. And exalting and magnifying his glorious name. Elohim. Jehovah. Hmm. Worship ushers in his presence. Worship, hallelujah, makes anything that is not of God in you and or around you and your situations, it makes it flee. So that's why as men and women of God, we got to stay in that zone. We got to stay right in that every day. Make that a part of your day every day. Even if you're going to work and you got 10 minutes to worship him. But worship him. Seek God in the matter. Somebody need to hear. Seek God in the matter. Tell the father that he's welcome in. He's welcome in your situations. So Yahweh through Yeshua HaMashiach, we bless you today. We thank you today. 
We thank you. Even yesterday and the day before, I had one of my apostle sisters laughing, but she was like, girl, you're, you're, you're in the vein. And I started singing, way in the water, way in the water, children, way in the waters. God's going to trouble the waters, wait in the waters, wait in the waters, children, wait in the waters, God's going to trouble the waters. He told me to sing it one more time because see, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm opening up some 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 stuff right now, some heavenly stuff, but I'm uprooting and I'm and I'm severing demonic strongholds and altars. Way in the water. Way in the water, children. Way in the water. God's gonna trouble the waters. He's troubling the waters for you right now. And even when I seen this a, a couple days ago, because one of the prophets that I know, sh uh, she was on a, a ship and she sent a picture into the journaling group of the waters. Though the waters had Beautiful tides, okay? They were so peaceful. So though through the storm, things come at us, but to have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, having the, the discernment and the knowing of God, he's going to let you know that son or daughter, yes, you are experiencing this right now, but this is me. Though the enemy is coming up against you, this is me. So let these waters, robo shikiriansa, push you through. See, 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 people fail to realize, hallelujah. See, our Father God is going to get the glory out this thing. Don't you know? He, he don't have no fails in the Bible. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We are the ones who change up on him. He's faithful. He's perfecting the things which concerns us. He's going to see the things pertaining to our life come in completion. Because why? Because it's already written. Yes, yes, Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Somebody need to give him a yes. Yes, Lord. We give you a yes today, Lord. We give you a yes. Mm. Give him a yes today. And this was really unscripted. The Lord just told me, the Holy Spirit just like, like came upon me and pulled me and said, stop what you're doing and you're going to worship. We got to get back in alignment. But our father is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So even as you're in the waters, hallelujah, the father's not going to allow you to drown. Okay. If you are really, truly holding on to him, he's not going to let you drown in this situation. The waters, the storm is just opening up the doors. 
So even as these things come against you, hallelujah, no, no, hallelujah, that what? It has already turned for your good. So trust me in the matter. Trust me in the matter. But he's troubling the waters, okay? But even even troubling the waters mean he's he's causing the impossible, okay? Because it's 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 impossible to some of us, okay? How how we want to look at it in the natural? It's it's impossible with man. But God, Yahweh says, it's possible with me. So he says, I'm troubling the waters right now. He says, I'm troubling the waters right now. Oh, hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm stirring that up right now. Oh, because you're going to come out of this, my son, my daughter. Yeah. So stop trying to remove yourself out of the waters. Because if the Lord is taking you through it, hallelujah, he's about to take you through it. Victory is your portion. Victory is your portion today. Victory is your portion today. Victory, victory, victory. It's your portion today. God says, do you trust me? I trust you, Lord. Hallelujah. I trust you, Lord. Do you really trust him? Do you really trust him in this situation? I trust you, Lord. Yet you slay me, though I trust you. It's all. For a time such as this, divine timing, the divine timing of God is setting into play because even as I'm looking in the realms and the dimensions of the spirit, I see this big old gigantic old, because I got to say it like that, clock. And though we know there's two hands on there and they go in opposite directions, but the Lord is showing me both of these hands coming into alignment and flowing. Like the rivers of living water in your belly, in your heart. You have not been forsaken. Because you belong to me, says the Lord Almighty, strong in battle. Thank you, Father. As he's troubling these waters, troubling the waters also mean miracles because see, he's doing the possible. Okay. Because with God, all things are possible. (laughs) With Yeshua, all things are possible. Because he strengthens us. So see, what's happening is he's strengthening you in the waters. He's strengthening you in the waters. So when you get to the destination, you're able to stand. Hallelujah. And what he has for you. But he's strengthening you in the waters. So then, therefore, you're able to endure in the water. Because as I'm looking in the realms and I'm into the spirit. Many have not been able to swim in the waters. So you've had a tendency of starting over and over and over again. And God says, the reason why that has occurred in many of my sons and daughters' life, because you didn't consult me in the matter. You didn't trust me. You didn't have faith. And you just kind of went out there on your own and you tried to go before me or and or you tried to stagnate back. In something. But he says today. He says I am extending my hand. (laughs) Those waters. Is his spirit. So it's okay. To get submerged. You just don't want to be feet deep. Ankle deep. Knee deep. Thigh deep. 
chest deep, neck. You want to be fully submerged. You want to be pressed down and shaken together, okay, into those waters. Because, see, it's the Father's spirit. So, see, he wants to overtake you. And he wants to bring you out. And he wants to open up the doors for you. He wants to heal, deliver, and set free. He wants to bring forth the things that have looked so delayed and hindered. So we thank you for troubling the waters today because see, as I decree and declare, and it so shall be established on today, hallelujah, as I decree and declare, haman sheka, and it so shall be established as I prophesy apostolically and prophetically as I call forth the winds from the east, west, north, and south, oh, as the fire that's boiling in me of God because he is a consuming fire you about to see these things become tangible <clears throat> you about to see them finally Divine timing is now for some of you. And even if it's not in certain situations, that's okay. Because in the knowing of what the purpose is for being in the waters of the storm, hallelujah, you know that you're going through to get through to what God has for you. I don't care who comes up against you, hallelujah. They can't trump God because he is the author and finisher. He is Alpha and Omega. So, Father, let those miracles, 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 let them spring forth in the waters. As you are troubling the waters, let the miracles. Y'all don't even realize the way in which God is about to maneuver in your life. He is about to maneuver in such a strategic way. I'm seeing 007. <laughs> you know how, how, how he was in there. You know what I'm saying? Very clever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, had, had certain skill, technique. See, God is all. <laughs> yeah. And in this, he is confusing the enemy's camp. Confusion is going out right now in the enemy's camp. So see, the way in which you thought it was going to go is not because the father is confusing the enemy today, his camp. They are in a disarray right now. I'm telling y'all in the realm, the dimensions of the spirit, they are in a disarray. Because the wrath of God has come down. The fire of God has come down. His word according to Psalms 91 has come down. Even 92. Even Psalm 6. Robo bobo shikiria. I'm going to keep speaking at Exodus 14, 13 through 14. Hallelujah. His wrath have come down. So expect speed and momentum. Expect these things to finally, literally, you're going to literally wake up. And it's just as though you get, it's like literally I'm seeing packages set at the door. Unexpected packages. So take that spiritually. But things and people are about to show up on your behalf.
y'all. And I'm telling y'all, I didn't been up for some hours. Now, I ain't going to specify how many hours I didn't been up. But that's why my voice even sounding like this. But I still had to be obedient to worship. My worship. My worship today is ushering in. The heavenly presence of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. My worship today is opening up. The kingdom gates and portals. My worship. I was just telling y'all the other day, God wants to hear your voice. And I want to hear, well, I can't sing. I can't do this. It, it don't matter. He, he want to hear you. And there's other forms of worship. If you, if you want to dance, then, then you know what? Get you some prophetic music and get the dance in the day. Because he's coming, he's here to bring us life and life more abundantly. So see, as we, hallelujah, receive that daily manna, literally I'm seeing right now, as we seek him, we are receiving that daily manna. And what happens is as we do that, it, it, it fills us, hallelujah, so we can continue on the journey. But, but then even as we do that, that uproots and sever the things that might have had come upon you to try to cause confusion and discord or, 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 or whatever the case. Hallelujah. Hmm. I trust you, Lord. Hallelujah. Cause I trust you, Lord. Hallelujah. I trust you, Lord. That's why I'm giving it to him. I give it all to you on today. I give it all, oh my God, oh, bo, 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 komsa, to you on today. Watch, 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 and see and hear. Oh, how the change. It's ushering in change. It's ushering in change. As we usher in his presence, like I said, as we worship and seek him every day, as we usher in his presence, oh my God, don't you know that it, it shifts? Command your morning, command your month by ushering in the presence of worship. That reverence. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Yahweh, through Yeshua HaMashiach. As I came today just for a minute to, to, to worship, to literally, because this is my secret time with the Father, but, but he told me to, 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 uh, Worship a little bit with y'all. Because see, it's a domino effect that's going on in the spiritual realms and dimensions. That's about to manifest in the natural. Mm -hmm. But he says, as, as you do that, daughter, it's going to permanently change some things. Not just for me, but for whoever needs to hear this today. Whoever needs the encouragement, hang in there, my sister, my brother. God really got you. Sometimes, and I have to put it like this, we have to get to a point to where we don't care. And what I mean by that is, if some of you guys are facing like constant issues on your job, or you can't keep a job, or you're constantly being, you know, evicted, or, you know, something is constantly happening in your life. But you still trying to maneuver things in your own stream. Sometimes it gets so pressing. And this is what God be wanting because there is a breaking point. 
that happens and you get to the point to where you like you don't care hallelujah and then that's when you would do what seek god so then he can come in and have his way he can come in and maneuver things in your life because see when you get to that breaking point and you feel like you about to break down god ain't gonna let you he gonna pull you up but that's the time when he will come in and turn it around for your good because then you have give i give you this and then when you really give it to him and then you're not thinking you're not even thinking about it no more like lord well if i got to go stay in my car then i then then i guess i'm in my car and if you if your car didn't got repo i'm 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 just telling the truth today because see these things have happened to me well, if I don't have no car, Father, then hallelujah. Then I, I go over here with this family member or Father, where, where, wherever. But I'm just going to trust you in it because if, if it's happening, I know something greater is about to come out of the situation. Hallelujah. I give it all to you today. You have to really speak to the father, but, but really be real on it. But I just wanted to just pour out today into the atmosphere, spiritually and naturally. So if you're unction today, get in worship. Get in divine worship. Get in worship. Hallelujah. And watch how it's going to change the situation. Because worship even changes your mindset. Okay. It changes the atmosphere around you. So Abba. To Yeshua HaMashiach, I give you this back today. I, I, as I am at your feet in the, in the throne room, in the heavenlies with you, I give this worship and word in your hand and in every individual situation today and that you have your way in it. And I thank you and I trust you. In the situation. You are. My desire. You are what I need. I love you. And I cherish you. And I serve you. And so I thank you today. For your heavenly presence. Upon and in our lives. I thank you today. And may the worship and the prayer. And the word of you father. Be covered in the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. And you know, hallelujah, echo, bo, 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 sa, amen. Didn't there used to be a song? And I, I can't remember it, but they, they would be like, I love to call your name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I love to call your name. I don't know. It's, it seemed like maybe it's, maybe it's a mixture of maybe something and then I'm putting my own thing in it. But sometimes that's all you can do. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I love to call your name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I love to call your name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I love to call your name. Hallelujah. 
that shifts atmospheres when you call out the name of Jesus. Yeshua Hamashiach. And so I love y'all today. I bless y'all today. Hallelujah. Please share, tag, and invite this. Some, somebody needs to hear this today. Somebody may not want to hear my worship, but see, I know who I am in the Father. And I know, hallelujah, as he uses me, the dynamic divine shifting that occurs spiritually and naturally. But amen. This is Dr. K or Apostle K. And this is going into the upper room birthing vault today. This is what he wanted me to do. I didn't know. He just told me to worship. So this is going into the upper room birthing vault today. Where it is myself and six other men and women of the most high God. And I y- y'all know I always tell y'all. If you're not a part of the Upper Room Birthing Vault, please become a part. It is, it is a Facebook group. The other men and women, they, they are so in alignment with God and they got pure hearts. And you're missing out on dynamic prayer and word that goes forth. Because there's one of us in there. Hallelujah. There's two on Thursday. So like uh, Sundays and Wednesdays right now are not being utilized right now. But the other days, there's always someone praying or giving a word. So I want y'all to receive of that. (laughs) Hallelujah. That's 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 all I'm going to put out there, though. It's a lot going on with the ministry um, revivals and things. But I will share that on my pages as needed. But I love y'all again. You are blessed and you stay encouraged. Dr. K, I'm signing out.